Hi ladies, this is Nicole and I have a tutorial for you. Um, I've been working with some Palmer's clay making some um, homemade embellishments and I wanted to share that with you. And so, um, first off, I've been working with this uh, Sculpty clay and I've been using black. Um, I chose black because I'm working with uh, Perfect Pearls. So we're going to go ahead and um, use our stamps to get our image. So you're first going to start out with your black clay and you're going to roll it out and get it um, not too thick, not too thin. See I got a little too thin there. When you're working with this stuff it's nice to work on um, a good surface. I'm using my um, my uh, good old kitchen counters here. So you're going to roll it out. After you get it rolled out, you're going to go ahead and um, stamp your image. So I'm going to start off with this happy birthday stamp. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this little um, hula flower and the, the little leafage here. I'm going to stamp this into my image. Then I'm going to take my tool that I got. I got this in a um, little tool, a little $5 tool kit that I found at Michael's. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my images. You know, you, when you're not standing behind a camera, you can make your lines a little bit more neater. Doing the best I can here. Okay. So these are our two images that we ended up with. I'm going to go ahead and trim the edges on our happy birthday here. There's our happy birthday. And for this next part, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see what I am doing. Okay. So they're a little rough around the edges, but um, you can certainly, um, you know, take your time when doing it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, Perfect Pearls by Rangers. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, mint. Go ahead and dab a little bit on my paintbrush here. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to brush it on. I like this perfect pearls. I like the metallic look of it. And a little bit goes a long ways. You know, you think, wow, I have to pay. Oh, I think I got a package of them for $17.99. But you think, man, you know, almost 20 bucks. I get these four little containers with this little bit of powder. Well, if you get a coupon, um, you save yourself some money. And like I said, it, a little goes a long ways. I've been using this stuff for a while now and still have a lot left. So you're going to go ahead and just brush that all on, all over the side so you don't see any of the black. Put the lid back on that one. Use your little scraping tool here so you can be careful of your edges. And that's what we end up with. There's our happy birthday sign. We'll go ahead and do our little hula flower here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and use, um, what is this? This is Heirloom Gold. Heirloom Gold. Once again, just put a little bit on your brush. And go ahead and brush it on there. Get all around the sides. And then voila. So you don't have to use just stamps. It's anything that you think that will leave an impression. Um, you can use the um, ends of screwdrivers. You can use molds that you already have and then just press it down into the clay. Uh, you can use foam stamps. I don't know if I already said that already, but you can use foam stamps. I just like the wood because it's just it has something a little bit uh, more for you to hold on to. The next thing that you can do um, is you can buy these molds. I found this at Michael's over in the um, in the uh, baking section. It's just a rubber mold, and you can just take your clay, your Palmer's clay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this flower right here. This one has flowers, has a couple birds, leaves, has some branches. Here's a flower trim and a leaf trim. They have quite a few of these in different kinds of designs. I think I found this for like $4.99 I believe I paid for it. So you're just going to go ahead. Actually, you don't need a whole lot. I always start off with a little ball. And go ahead and put that inside there. And then just kind of move it around. And then what's nice about these being rubber is you can just pop them out real easy. Now you're left with this um, clay around the edges. And that's when I just take my um, little... Uh, scraper here and I just kind of go around the edges and when you're doing this on your own you can definitely make it a lot nicer because you're not in a rush And then I just kind of go around the edges and kind of tuck in those spots. But there's our flower. And then you just, um, once again, just take your perfect curls. Get a little on our brush. And go ahead and put some on there. And voila, there's our flower. And so when you're all done, you're going to um, take these, you're gonna put them on a baking sheet and you're going to put them in the oven um, at 275. For um, 10 to 15 minutes, um, I would stop and check at 10 minutes. When you put them in the oven, you're gonna um, start to smell kind of like a burning plastic and that's just the smell of the clay. But when I start to smell that, I, I usually just go over there and check the oven and when they and when you bring them out they're still kind of flimsy but you want to lay them flat because about two minutes goes by and they're rock hard and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some that I've already made and put in the oven here are some uh, flowers that I made using the perfect pearls Hopefully you guys can see those. Okay. And then here's some uh, happy birthday signs that I made because I want to use them on some cards. Has another stamp that I made. Has some uh, leaves and uh, roses there. 
And then I made these because I want to use these because um, I'm trying to alter a piece of um, canvas. So I made a couple of these using some perfect pearls. So you know you don't have to just stamp one image if you have some sort of stamp that adds a background or a texture. Um, go ahead and roll your, your clay out into a large piece and uh, just stamp it and then you can play around with the perfect pearls. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm sorry it's not the best but I'm still uh, learning how to uh, work with the clay and the uh, perfect pearls and um, you just have a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye!